Welcome everyone to another episode of Mentorship Moments. My name is Michael Cerullo and I'm here with my grandfather, 67 years of ministry, Dr. Morris Cerullo. Thank you, Pop, for being with us here. Well, it's a great joy, especially to know that those that are watching are a part of the program. Yeah. They're not just out there somewhere in space, but they have a question we'll deal with. Yeah, no, we want this to be an interactive program where people are invested, they're involved, and that they feel they know that they can ask a question and that we'll, we'll take it to heart and we'll probably have it on a mentorship yes. moments. So I know last time we had talked about the history of your ministry, Crusades, and how Crusades transition mm -hmm. into training nationals and how nationals is now, is now transitioning into what we have behind us in, in the Legacy Center. Maybe you could share a little bit about, about the well, Legacy Center. I, I want you to just, let's, let's yeah. just take a deep look at that model. The Lord spoke to me now. Remember, don't think that strange. You know, when we say, I know you're out there saying, does God speak to you? Yeah. Of course. Did he speak to Abraham? Did he speak to Moses? Did he speak to Joshua? Yeah. Okay. He does. Sometimes it's the inner voice. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's a direct leading. That was a direct leading. You see, people were asking me, when are you going to retire? Mm -hmm. And then one day, God confronted me. And he said to me, do you know prophets never retire? Wow. And then after I began to seek him, he began to show me what his purpose was. Do you want to know what God's purpose is for your life? Yeah. And he said to me, I do not want what I have given you all of these years that has shaken cities, shaken nations, raised up thousands of ministers God said, I don't want it to die. Mm -hmm. Then he showed me the example of some great men and women of God that have had great ministries. That's all you know you never hear is their them. name. Yeah. But what God deposited in them is not being transmitted. Yeah. And so he spoke to me about building him a legacy center yeah. where people can come from all over the world. They can come for a day, they can come for two days, they can come for a week, and they can be trained with the highest technological means possible today. I'm gonna be able, look at that Legacy Center. Yeah. I know the camera is just panning it right now. Yeah, incredible. It's 350,000 square feet, wow. 18 solid acres, ministry that you are going to be able to sit under, not only my ministry, my life, mm -hmm. the teaching God has given to me, but the scores of other really? great men and women of God. Wow. We will have the technology we have already seen it develop. We're putting it together right now okay. where they will be able to come, spend one day, spend two days, spend a week, and learn through the technology that we are seeing come to pass yeah. now. They'll be able to learn any facet of the Word of God prayer, faith, signs, wonders, mm. the voice of God, Amen. the leadership of God. Wow, I tell you, there's no place like the Legacy Center yeah. in all the world. So you better get ready when I announce it's opening to come and let God do something incredible for your life. Amen. What a powerful tool for the body of Christ. I'm so excited 
as this is under construction and for it to be uh, open for those out there that are watching to come and visit the Legacy Center. We want them to be a part of it as well. Amen. Well, thank you, Pop, for sharing on this mentorship moment. So excited about the Legacy Center. And uh, don't forget to tune in next time as we have another mentorship moment. Write your questions. We'd love uh, for, for you to write your questions and comments, and we'll uh, have it be a part of our next show. And don't forget to share with your friends and family. God bless you.